So I'm here at shops at Worthington Place. This is a mall that I honestly did not know existed. I've been past this place so many times, never ever bothered to look. But now I'm glad I found it and I'm here. So this mall apparently opened in 1972 as an open air mall. And then 20 years later in the early 90s, they enclosed it. I had no idea this was here, but this is cool. Not very many people. Wow. It's a beautiful place though. This place is basically an anchorless mall. Though, I suppose in a way, Kroger is kind of an anchor. It's just not connected to the building. Like it's a separate building, but I don't know. I'm guessing it's the closest thing to an anchor. We got some clothes shops here. They're not open, they're empty, closed up. This entire section here is closed. As is a lot of that too. This is cool. Apparently there's a dentist here. It's a big shop, just empty.
nice mural right here. Yeah, up at the front entrance, there's a digital map with a touch screen, but up here you've got a, an actual map. So yeah, you got Kroger. So again, that's probably the anchor, even though it's not connected. I wonder how out of date this map is. It feels like there's less here than what the map shows. Even the restrooms are closed. There's literally no one here other than me and like three other people. And there might be more than that, but still, it's basically empty. The play area is closed and a bit of damage right there. too bad that there's not a lot of people here. It's a pretty, it's a very pretty mall. Yeah, like that building out there is Kroger. Cinderella's Closet Boutique. More like Closed Boutique. Yeah, this is the West Entrance. There's another map right there. one of the east entrances. Maybe this is the northeast entrance. It's just called the north entrance. So all of this is the north entrance, I guess. The restaurant out there is pretty busy. So I head back to the south entrance where I'm parked. empty shops. It's got a 70s look to it, which makes sense since the mall opened in 72. Yeah, I like this fountain, it's nice. Total Crossing Mall, which is the one I went to the most growing up. It 
is it's still a beautiful mall but they it was really unfortunate when they stripped it of the giant fountain that it had with the giant ball in the middle but this is nice and it's interesting how the coins are collected in the middle there I'll bet there's some up top but maybe maybe not guess we'll peek right here real quick So we have a first watch diner that can that can be accessed from just the entrance. In fact, I ate here once. How about that? I ate there once and didn't even pay attention that there was a mall here. Man, how dumb do I feel? smell the Panera bread over here. For some reason it smells like popcorn. So yeah, here's that digital sign. So like you got a map that shows everything. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit outdated, but. Ah. That's cool though. Just show the outside, the main entrance. Across the street used to be a great big hotel, but that's long gone now. They're building some new stuff. Yeah, there it is. Shops at Worthington Place. Used to be called Worthington Square Mall a long time ago, but the name has long since been changed.